Hello Intune friends, in this video we're gonna enroll a Mac OS device into Intune. And in the previous video we created an Apple MD MDM push certificate, which is a requirement. So if you don't have that in your tenant, look at the previous video and then come back to this one. We're gonna quickly go through these uh, options a bit. So these two here are for enterprises if you wanna do bulk enrollments. And unfortunately I don't have that. You need to have an Apple business manager, an Apple school manager. So probably at your company you might have that, then this is an option. If you just wanna test to enroll a Mac, you can follow what I'm doing. I'm gonna enroll it as a personal device. Under enrollment option, we have two here, enrollment types. This is only for iPhones and iPads. So if you see here when we create the profile, it's only for iOS and iPad OS. So nothing for us now, maybe in future video when we enroll the um, iPhones and stuff. So if I go back here to Mac OS, Mac OS enrollment. What about the notification that we could do? There is for iOS, but there is also for macOS notifications. So we can create one. I'll just do a quick one. GBN new macOS enroll the notification. Notification oh, of a new new Mac. Goes good here. macOS device device being enrolled into in June. So platform Mac OS, perfect. So we can do a push or an email. I'll do both. Welcome to GBM Intune. Your device has been enrolled or something. And I'll steal this one. Let's do the same for next one. So I just copy that, paste, and copy that. You can be a lot more creative than I am. Okay, so we send an email and a push notification. Scoop tag, I'm not adding any scoop tag. Assignments, let's add to all users, all users who enroll, and create this one. This is definitely not needed and you can target with different messages to different uh, people. I do it very simple here. So we are ready to enroll a device. Just want to verify with you that you have all the settings clear. So if you click on devices here and then scroll down pretty far, there is uh, enrollment device limit, uh, device platform restriction, sorry, enrollment device platform restriction. So if you go on macOS restriction, and I actually see they have a mistake here, Microsoft, it should be a lowercase m on macOS. But if we click on this one here, and then click on all users, and then properties, just verify that personally owned macOS is uh, checked to allow. So if you have it blocked here, then what I'm going to show now is not going to work. So this is for bulk uh, enrollment if you have an Apple business manager or a school manager, but I don't have, so I have to have allow, which I believe is the default. So it shouldn't be any problem, but just verify that. If not, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna cancel out since I already had that. Yes, I don't wanna save that. So we have everything ready to enroll. So I'm just gonna go back to devices, Mac OS, you see the lowercase on M and our devices. So hopefully it's going to show up here. So I'm going to connect to another Mac, this one here, and we're going to enroll it. So I'm going to put the links in the description as always. So we'll go to Safari here. So here is a good URL to enroll. So we're going to scroll down here. So we need to install company portal, same as we have on Windows. So First, here are all the steps. First, we're gonna download a file. We're gonna run the PKG to install the company portal. Then we're gonna just agree to the software license. And then we're just gonna um, uh, put our credential and open, and then we're gonna enroll it uh, here. We're gonna begin. Well, let's get started to get the company portal. That's step one. Yes, allow. It's gonna download. Well, let's open in Finder, then double click on company portal installer package. And here we have introduction, continue, license, of course, always read, continue, I agree, installation type, yeah, I'm installed on the normal one, 
and the installation and here it want my uh, credential close um, I'm actually gonna keep it We can run updates since the company portal is is part of that. Uh, let's see what update that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Company portal is up to date, so we can update the Microsoft Auto Updater itself. Let's see, all updates, all are up to date. So we have the latest company portal at this date. Perfect, excellent. So now let's start company portal. I do a command space and then just type company portal. You can also find it uh, under um, applications. I'll show it there as well. So if we take finder, let's go to applications. And we have company portal here so you can go that way also start it so let's sign in in order to show that we belong to this uh, tenant so I'm gonna use my normal account Excellent. So now if we go back to uh, documentation, now we are at enroll. So we have signed in and now we are going uh, to follow these instructions. So pretty straightforward. This is what the user could actually do. So let's begin here. So here they say, what will we be able to see as an admin? We will not be able to see browser history, access your password and everything. But we're going to be able to see model and serial number, which is good for inventory, right? We're going to be able to uh, even reset if it gets stolen and see the name of the apps that are installed. So be, be mindful of that. So let's continue. Now we're going to register this Mac. Let's download this profile. That's a Mac thing. A mobile config file. So this is the one who actually gonna give all those rights. So without this, we can't, we must click install here. It's probably gonna ask for um, uh, password and consent to allow this. Install, yeah, Put the password again. Once this one is installed, perfect. So here it also say all the rights it has. Right now I have only one. Uh, so that one is for MDM. So if we, we can close this one and go back here. So it's gonna check uh, if it uh, meets all the requirements. So that can take some time. We are all set. So now we are enrolled. Here we can see some of my other devices. So actually, is this my Mac name? I thought I had another one. This is my Mac. Yep, this is the one I'm on right now, currently using. So it's in compliance. Of course, I haven't put anything. It sees that it's a MacBook Pro operating system, Mac OS, wild guess. I hopefully will gonna see exactly which uh, version of Mac OS. So that's actually it for the enrollment. We have successfully enrolled. So now I'm gonna go back to uh, my admin console. And if we do a refresh here, I hope to see my device. That was a bit too fast. Uh, 
Okay, it took uh, maybe three minutes. Now it's showing up here. It's telling me the macOS version. So this is Monterey. Currently there is a 6.6, .6. that's perfect if we want to do an update policy in the previous video. We have the total storage, free storage, can click and get some more information. So if we click see more here, we can see when it last checked in, which uh, device model. And if we look uh, properties, well, we can change it to a corporate, which is actually is I never done that, but let's, let's do that and uh, save because I don't have the enterprise to actually enroll it as a corporate, but it is a corporate one for me in this case. Okay, perfect. Hardware, so we can see the serial number, the OS again, the free disk space, not so much uh, new here. It's still compliant, but we haven't set up anything. That's a future video. It's not encrypted. We're going to change that as well and encrypt with Firewall. Discover application. It doesn't have any applications at the moment. It's a vanilla one. So we're going to do a lot more. But we have successfully enrolled a device, a macOS device, into our tenant. In the next video, we're going to start to look a bit at configuration profiles and st stuff like that. So... Thank you very much for following along. See you in the next video.